starting inside the closed guard, I'm putting both my hands inside his biceps here, both my elbows nice and low. I don't want to allow him to swim inside my arms and make things difficult, okay? Put my head down to one side, nice and tight on the ribs here. This hand is gonna slide underneath here to get an underhook from here, my shoulder staying close to his body. I'm gonna grab the back of his collar here, as close to the head as I can from there, and I'm gonna pull that elbow to my ribs to start turning his shoulders a little bit in this direction, okay? This makes it easier for me to apply the pressure to force his knee here to the floor. So my head stays across here. I'm gonna bring my knee to the center, step out one, drop my hips, drop my hips, okay? A few steps there, but now I'm gonna be lying across his thigh here. My head is still gonna be low here, okay? Now there's two ways I can use to break the grip over me, but one that I prefer, it's a bit safer. I'm gonna hold his knee here. I'm gonna force his leg straight to the ground here, okay? Now I'm gonna step my other leg back, come over, keeping this straight from here, okay? Now that that's been put down from there, I'm gonna slide my whole body up, my head next to his head, my backside comes up, and my knee comes across here, okay? Now that I'm here, I'm gonna just take the elbow here, pull this up, slide through, pull up, and finish. 